My name is Cosimo Pecchioli and I'm with Alfa Laval Data Center Schooling Solutions. And today we talk about whether it is advisable to decouple your cooling system uh, if you have an evaporative cooling tower or if you have air coolers. The concept is that if you have an, an evaporative cooling tower, of course, you have an open system that is exposed to the elements and all the contaminants in the air. And so in that case, actually, it's not really a choice. Uh, it's ad absolutely advisable to put a heat exchanger in between your, let's say, external world and your server room that acts like a shield and protects your IT equipment. What I am about to talk about now is a list of pros and cons that have been discussed at length uh, through our uh, meetings with the OCP, the Open Compute Project. And uh, so let's have a look at uh, these ad list of advantages and disadvantages. The advantages is that you can have different temperatures between the two loops, that you can have one dirty side as we said, if it's an open a cooling tower, that side it's inherently dirtier than the other one. You can have different pressures and you, you, you can have a differential pressure between the two sides. Of course, you have a fluid separation, as we said, which is not, not only a quality issue, but you can have different fluids. One side you might have glycol, for instance, and the other side you might want water, which of course has a higher a heat transfer ratio, or you can have like a, 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 a refrigerant when you can have any kind of liquid uh, cooling fluid. And then you have a volume isolation, which is equally important. If you have a large facility, you have a, a large amount of water just moving around with very large uh, uh, pipes, and you might not want to have the, these very large pipes inside of your server room for the safety uh, consideration, of course. Think about if you are in a, in a seismic area and you and you have a, a tremor, all those joints might leak at a certain point. And if, if you have a 24 inch pipe inside of your server room, it's a situation maybe you, you, you don't want to experience. And then if you are in, in, in co-location, of course, the, the heat exchanger is a clear uh, service level of agreement boundary. So it's when the responsibility of one side ends and the responsibility of the other side actually begins. So these are kind of the list of the advantages in decoupling your uh, cooling system. But now let's have a look at the, at, at the cons, at the, at the disadvantages of decoupling your system. Of course, it's more complex situation. So if you have uh, two loops, it's, it's going to be a little more expensive. And then, and then, of course, you add complexity, which inevitably translates in, in, in more maintenance. Then there's, there's space requirements, of course. If you want to add a, any sort of decoupling facility of loop isolation, of uh, you need the, actually the room or the space to make that happen. And then, as we mentioned before, every time that you add complexity, you add maintenance. I hope you found this uh, very short video interesting, and if you did, you can take advantage of all the other videos where we go into the details. Thank you very much, and have a great day.